friends, welcome to Shere Khan Pre-Market Action uh, for today with me, Shaji Nair. Firstly, uh, let's have a quick recap on how the markets uh, fared yesterday. Uh, talking about uh, the Nifty first, the Nifty uh, fell about uh, 32 points down as uh, the markets uh, saw a bit of profit taking ahead of uh, uh, key monetary policy meets in uh, US and Japan and uh, that is scheduled over the period of uh, that scheduled over Tuesday and Wednesday uh, so probably we will ha have some decision coming out to by today overnight on with respect to uh, US uh, um, decisions on the monetary policy and uh, uh, what we saw was uh, yeah, yesterday was a steep decline uh, a bit of decline in the nifty and this was uh, chiefly led by FIS uh, selling to the tune of uh, around 1146 crores in the uh, cash segment whereas the DIs were net positive to the tune of uh, 778 odd crores uh, and uh, moving over the top uh, gainers uh, the top gainers were yes bank bharti infratel and ongc whether whereas the top losers uh, yesterday were uh, uh, Bajaj uh, Auto, Hero Motors and Adani Ports uh, uh, so that was with respect to the Nifty 50 stocks uh, and now moving over to the European markets and Euro European markets uh, saw a bit of uh, flattish kind of uh, close yesterday with the, uh, with the Dow, uh, sorry the DAX and the uh, FTSE uh, closing about 0.2% uh, higher whereas the CAC ended 0.1% lower the Dow Jones uh, with respect to the US markets the Dow Jones ended around uh, 10 points uh, higher and today what we are seeing is uh, uh, the Asian markets are trading a bit flash, uh, flattish uh, uh, to negative uh, they are about down about 0.3-0.4 percent uh, the Hang Seng as well as the uh, the Nikkei and uh, the SGX Nifty is trading around 10 points uh, or down uh, so we may have a muted start uh, basically on account of the uh, policy meetings uh, or in scheduled in the Japan and US today. Uh, that's it uh, from the pre-market uh, session. Now over to the derivative update. Good morning friends, we will give analysis on derivatives. In yesterday's trading session, it was yet another trading session. We have seen uh, not, not major activity in the market as market was been desperately awaiting for the uh, event to unfold of Bank of Japan, uh, Bank of Japan monetary policy and Fed, uh, Fed monetary policy. Bank of Japan monetary policy would be uh, would be announced during the market hours, but the Fed monetary policy would be announced after the market hours, and the reaction would be coming then in tomorrow's trade. So this two trading session would be quite important to watch out for, and uh, due to which market in the last two trading sessions have been not uh, have been not uh, going anywhere and has been in consolidating it around 8,800 odd levels. And in yesterday's trading session, it was uh, it did close with a negative note with 0.28 percentage, settling at 8,807.20. Now the open interest terms, we have hardly seen any kind of an activity. The last two trading sessions, the volume was very, very low in the market, and market participants were been awaiting, uh, waiting desperately for the event to unfold. And in yesterday's trading session, there was only 0.16 percentage which was added in the open interest. In the absolute term, 57, uh, 57,000 shares were added in the open interest. While cost of carry increased uh, significantly from 10 percentage to 15 percentage, indicating a uh, uh, majority of the addition which was seen was a mix of long and short both. While put call ratio decreased by two basis points from 1.13 to 1.11, and volatility index uh, have been more or less same at around sub sub, uh, sub 14 to 15 uh, between sub 14 to 15 odd levels in yesterday's trade. On the option side, not major activity has been happening and not major activity to highlight upon. Uh, it was yet, uh, yet uh, 8,800 put option which continues to add a good amount of uh, uh, good amount of shares in the open interest and in yesterday's trade also we have seen an addition of around 13 and a half odd percentage in 8,800 put option while uh, not major activity in the call side and in the put side uh, now uh, 8,600 put option remains as the highest in terms of open interest and on the call side uh, again eight, uh, nine, uh, uh, sorry on the call side 8900 call option is the highest in terms of open interest for uh, this series on the securities from there are seven securities in bank period for today's trade that is century textile c limited india bull real estate hdil cavalry seats uh, reliance capital and workart pharma on the fis terms in index futures there were net sellers by 89 odd crores in index options net sellers by 1942 odd crores while stock futures, they were net sellers by 896 crores and stock options net sellers by 24 crores. So all in all, in SLA the FIs were net sellers in all the, all the four segments. On the market level of FIDs, we have stands at 8795 with a lower range of our VWAP at 8795. 
and high range at 8,900. SX Nifty is trading flat. It's up by just four odd points, quoting at 8,807. Indicating yet another flattish opening can be expected in the morning trade, but it will be 8,800 level, which would be watch out for yet again, as it's a very crucial support for the market. And if 8,800 has been uh, hold on, then we might see market uh, bouncing back. If it's, uh, but if it's not been able to hold on and sustains below it for the at least for a couple of hours of trading sessions, then expect market to see some more selling pressure in the uh, in it. That's it from derivatives. Thank you. Good morning friends, uh, now let's look at uh, the trading ideas for today. Uh, on our first trading idea we have IRP Infra and uh, IRP Infrastructure has backed a highway project, 6 lane highway project in Rajasthan and uh, uh, it is, uh, the company will get toting rights also for this project. Uh, so we believe that uh, this is long, uh, this is positive for uh, IRB Infra and uh, we recommend going long on the stock uh, with a stop loss at 242 for an upside target of 254 uh, to 259. On our second uh, trading idea we have Inox Leisure. RB has uh, given approval uh, that foreign investors can buy up a 49 percent stake in the company the earlier stake was uh, 24 percent uh, so this we believe is positive for the stock so one can go long on inox leisure keeping a stop loss at 263 for an upside target of 277 and 282 uh, now moving over to the news updates section nbcc has won a 440 crore contract to build uh, hospitals at uh, three locations and uh, uh, gopal das exports uh, to consider merging of uh, some units with self on September 26th. Vardhaman Textiles Board is to meet to consider uh, the buyback proposal on September 24th. And Bayer makes an uh, offer for Monsanto India. This is Monsanto India's stake uh, at an offer, open offer price of uh, 2481.60 per share. The government may opt for public uh, offer uh, to reduce IDBI stake they had earlier uh, thought of uh, issuing a QIB only but due to Lecom response in the QIB uh, they are planning to go for a public offer as well. Uh, the Piramal is to sell uh, its financial arm uh, to uh, at, uh, uh, at the rate uh, is to sell a part of financial services arm uh, to, to uh, for 1450 crores and CCI clears Piramal Enterprises Pfizer deal and uh, Reliance in Infrastructure files uh, uh, with the uh, files uh, papers with SEBI for investment uh, trust Wellspun India uh, on news pertaining to Wellspun India the company has got uh, class 2 action complaints uh, in the US and capital first uh, to raise around 100 crore via private placement and Arani Ports Inc. Spacs to acquire Australian APB and Gale doubles capacity uh, of UP petrol chemical uh, complex and IOC Gale to sign pack to take 49% stake in Adani project and Wipro and Withbay enter into a global partnership to, to offer end-to-end -end tests and test automation and services uh, monitoring deployment solutions then prestige estates uh, uh, plans to sell uh, plans to raise at least 30 million uh, that is around 2000 crores uh, by selling up to 40 percent stake in its uh, uh, rent yielding commercial assets then state bank of Bikaner Jaipur uh, shareholders demand better share swap ratio from SBI Adani transmission has created a promoter pledge of 2.78 percent stake. Team Lease acquires Niche Pro uh, for an enterprise value of 29 crores. And MCX uh, gets shareholder not to hike foreign investment uh, limit uh, to 34 percent. That was with respect to the news update and now look, let's look at the data uh, that is the uh, data which shows the biasness uh, related pertaining to the derivative action. Uh, on a positive bias we have CIT, Biocon and ONGC and uh, on a negative bias so we have TLF and Allahabad Bank. On stocks for investments, uh, one can consider investing in the following stocks, 
Sun Pharma, Maruti, Britannia, HCL Tech, and Grasin. Uh, so friends, uh, that's it from the morning meet uh, uh, session. Uh, have a happy trading and happy investing.